Hi, so my name is Dr. Alok and we want to talk about if you can straighten only your upper or your lower teeth. So it all depends on why you want a nicer smile. Most people really just literally want straighter teeth so they feel more confident and feel happier and can clean them better. And what we need to look at is when we are straightening one set of teeth, we need to think about how the other is affected. So here we can see as the upper arch is expanding, we have more space for the lower teeth as well. But if we were just to do one arch, we may have a challenge and we're gonna explain that. So align a straightened teeth by creating space. So let's look at it. Before treatment, we generally can see a narrow arch at the teeth are pushed out of position. So teeth are misaligned when there's a spacing issue. There can either be too much space when we have gaps or too little space, in which case we have crooked teeth. Here we can see the person's wearing the aligners and afterwards we can see the wider jaw. So the aligners can help create more space and improve this arch shape. But what does that arch have to do with the opposite arch? So as the space is created and this arch changes, what we have to think about is how the teeth meet. So when teeth meet, they bite together. So if we have a look at this 3D model of teeth, we can actually see this tooth is quite far out of position. Now, what we need to look at is when that tooth moves to its new position, will the lower teeth be in the right position so that they can close together properly or is something gonna block it? The main reason is one arch might be inhibiting the other arch from full movement. So that's the key thing. Here, if we looked at it and if we think, okay, I just want to straighten these lower teeth, that means to bring these together, we increase the width of the arch, which comes wider here. And then if we close together, it will get trapped at the top. So we actually need to expand both the lower and the upper arch to help them fit. Here are some other examples. Many people think, I just wanna close this gap. The problem is if you close this gap, the teeth come back a little bit. If they come back a little bit and they close together, they will hit the lower teeth. So here we have to expand the lower arch to bring the lower teeth back a fraction and at the same time close that space. We have the same story here. If we bring this into position, this gets wider. This then means that these teeth will catch these teeth and that's how we close together. And the same story here to bring these teeth back into position, we need to expand the upper arch. So it's important where we can to address them both so there can be the right adaptation. So unfortunately, many times some dentists may only straighten one arch and that's the reason because clinics charge per arch. So single arch treatments can sometimes be selected to reduce the overall cost. Now, we don't want cost to be a barrier, so we prefer more all-inclusive encompassing packages. One arch in rare cases might actually already be aligned, in which case if it's in the ideal position and there's sufficient space for the expansion, then it could be possible, although this is very rare. The other thing could be that if we um, extract teeth or change the shape of teeth in one arch, then that could help create some space instead of doing both arches. But generally that's going to be a compromise and you might end up with some teeth that look a bit too small or the lower jaw a bit far back. So generally not ideal sometimes. So the important thing is to have a smile that you enjoy every day and you feel happy about. And that involves transformations of the upper and the lower teeth. So at Straight Teeth Direct, we make sure that the packages are inclusive. They have your upper and your lower teeth included, as well as your retainers. So I hope that's been helpful for you. And if you've got any questions, our team is here to help. Thank you.